Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy, and this is a place where I love to share about eating a high carb, low fat, no oil, whole food, plant based diet. And I talk about all of the different recipes that I use, and how to put meals together, and how I have lost over 75 pounds. And I'm going to actually do an update video today. Um, it's been one year exactly today since I started my whole food, plant based diet. And I'm going to tell you how much I've lost total. I'm also going to give you a little bit of background story and tell you a little bit of my husband's story. So let's go ahead and get right into it because there's a lot to cover. Okay, so the backstory on me and how I got from there to here is that um, whenever I was in school, weight was always a little bit of a struggle, but it wasn't a big deal. I was pretty active as a kid. I played sports and I did all kinds of things. It was after I graduated school that I had a lot more problems with my weight. My weight would go up, my weight would go down, it would go up and it would go down. Probably like uh, many other people, I didn't understand what I was doing with nutrition. I didn't realize how big of a role it played in uh, what happened to me health-wise. And um, I just sort of like took it for granted and ate what I was brought up eating that most of us were brought up eating and just really didn't have that connection. So whenever I started the regular grind, the day-to-day -day kind of thing working, you know, after getting out of school, um, I just struggled my weight really went up and then I would be able to get it off and it was like not necessarily in healthy ways it was you know like really restrictive diets and a lot of exercise and it was always really hard to get it off and so usually at the end of achieving the weight loss you just go back to eating the regular way and then the cycle starts all over again and it's not a sustainable way to lead a healthy lifestyle so I knew that I was on the search for how to do that and and uh, it took me a while to actually get there. So in my early 20s, I started having problems like female problems, and I was diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome, which was confirmed with an ultrasound uh, looking at my ovaries. It saw many cysts, plus I had a lot of symptoms. And I uh, was, like I said, in my early 20s, and I really had no idea what to do with that. And at the time, a lot of doctors didn't know a whole lot about it, and a lot of doctors still don't know a whole lot about it. And so basically the advice I got was to lose weight, lower your triglycerides, and see an endocrinologist. So I went and saw an endocrinologist and basically got the same information, but they monitored my triglycerides, my cholesterol, and my blood sugar. And that's when I found out that I had insulin resistance. So I had to start taking metformin. And I think I took around like 2000 milligrams a day, which is, if I'm not mistaken, almost the highest dose that you can take on metformin. And I did not like being on medication, so I worked really hard to try to figure out what I needed to do. Um, at that point in time, I did something similar to a Mediterranean diet, Mediterranean style diet, and um, it really seemed to help a lot, um, but it didn't help all the way. So even though I was like eating a whole lot of vegetables and fruit and um, lean meats and olive oil and stuff like that, my triglycerides and my cholesterol did come down some, I did lose some weight, but the symptoms were still persistent and they were still there and it was like I couldn't do anything to completely break free from that and I was told at that point in time that it would be something that I always dealt with and that there was no cure for polycystic ovarian syndrome and I would likely have a really hard time having kids which did end up turning out to be true for me as far as the kids <clears throat> so Fast forward several years later, after I had been on this crazy up-down cycle this whole time, like losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, not being sustainable, I started moving to a whole food style, you know, like real meat, real cheese, vegetables, nothing processed basically. And I did see a lot more improvement just like I did whenever I did the Mediterranean style diet. So I knew that that was the right track. I just didn't realize how 
connected our diet was to our health at that point in time because it's not something that was common knowledge back then um, and it's still not common knowledge now a lot of people never put the dots together that your health is really connected to what you put in your mouth and what you put on your plate dealt with infertility issues for a long time i finally had my son uh in 2017 and after i had him i actually ended up gaining a lot more weight because it's like i was you know a new mom and i didn't realize again like i just didn't put my health first so i was like trying to adjust to all of the different things and already like was in this state where i wasn't at my healthiest even though i was healthier than what i had been before and i had to figure it out all over again and i started looking at a whole foods diet again but came across um a whole food plant-based diet and it has it was basically the only thing that i had never tried before so I came, I decided to go ahead and give a whole food plant-based diet a try. I came across the starch solution and maximum weight loss. So I read both of those books and it just made a lot of sense to me. And I thought I had nothing to lose and let's just go ahead and give this a try because I had to do something for my health. Again, my triglycerides were high, my cholesterol was high. My insulin resistance um, had never really gone away and I needed to do something because I wanted to be there for myself son and watch him grow up and I also needed to set a good example for him. So in November 17th of 2019 I started on my whole food plant-based diet. I remember it like yesterday because my niece had a birthday party and we celebrated her birthday and we ate together and then the next day I went in both feet first and never looked back. So I had decided to commit to it for a whole year and that's exactly what I did. Now, my husband wasn't exactly on board originally and then he ended up having a health crisis in December 2019 um, and we ended up in the hospital and I'm not gonna go into a big major detail about that. If it's something that you want to hear, I might be able to get him to talk about it um, on my channel uh, because he has a pretty incredible story as well um, we still are you know going to be working with his health problems that we discovered that he had for a lifetime um, but he's doing so so much better than what he was doing at that point in time and whenever we were in the hospital with him uh, we found out that he was a diabetic type, type 2 diabetes and um, so that was something else that we were gonna have to work with and he ended up getting on a whole food plant-based diet along with me after he got out of the hospital. So he started at the end of December. So I'll just go ahead and tell you about, was it like two days ago? Yeah, today's two. Yes, two days ago, his doctor called, um, excited to tell him that he was no longer type 2 diabetic so it took us right at a year but he actually reversed diabetes like i said he's got a pretty incredible story and he's fought really hard to get back to health but he said that his uh, a1c has been 5.4 over the last 90 days and that he was happy to report that he was no longer diabetic so what we we're just going to keep on keeping on and keep doing what we have been for him because that was just like a super huge win for us and something so fantastic like it was so awesome to see that in person. I witnessed it. I witnessed the struggles. I witnessed the checking of the blood sugar, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I witnessed hypoglycemic episodes. And now he has reversed that and he no longer has to worry about that. And that is something that has freed his health to improve even more. And it's something that he really needed to kick. And I'm so proud of him for that. So like I said, let me know in the comments below if you wanna hear more about his story. So we'll jump back into mine, but he went along for the ride and I'm so glad that he did. So since I committed to eating whole food plant-based diet for an entire year, I saw lots of improvements. Um, my, uh, my skin cleared up. I lost weight. Um, 
my female issues went away um, my uh, insulin resistance my blood sugar it's totally normal now I've been checking mine just like my husband Blake has been checking his and I'm always in the normal range so that was something really awesome for me not to have to worry about that I have more energy and I'm able to go and do a lot of things um, that maybe might not have been I wouldn't have been up to doing beforehand so after a year of being on a whole food plant-based diet i lost a total of 80 pounds and i'm not done yet but that was a really big accomplishment and that was a six over a six pound loss each month which is very sustainable and something that i'm completely happy with now my weight loss did start to slow down a little bit the closer i got to my goal but i still want to lose probably somewhere around 40 pounds or so so this is gonna be round two. This starts my fresh new journey into my second year of weight loss, which is totally fine. I knew that it was probably gonna take a while to get there. I didn't put weight on overnight, and I'm not gonna get it off overnight, but six pounds, over six pounds a month is super sustainable, and whenever you lose weight like that, you're more likely to be able to keep it off, and that's the thing with eating a whole food plant-based diet, as I've found that it is super sustainable compared to all the other ways that I had ate my diet because um, I'm not ever hungry, and if I am hungry, I can always get something to eat within the framework that I've set up. You know, I eat a starch-based diet, so the bulk of my calories come from starches, and I eat a lot of non-starchy vegetables along with that. And really, nothing's off the table out of the framework that I've set up myself. High-carb, low-fat whole food plant-based diet and I don't add extra oils but that does not mean that I eat a fat-free diet because I will eat some things like nuts and seeds and avocados occasionally so I do have fats in my diet um, that's my story and that is what brought me to a whole food plant-based diet we have made lots of improvements in my family's health actually dramatic improvements whenever you think about my insulin resistance being gone my husband reversing type 2 diabetes he has also lost over 75 pounds and i've lost 80 pounds now and counting so i hope that this is uh some encouragement to you um this was some kind this was like um when I committed to this for a year, it was like an experiment to see if this was actually going to work. And not only did it work, I actually flourished on it. And that's why I wanted to start recording these videos and sharing this information with y'all because I could immediately see that this was a different lifestyle and that it was really working. And I wanted to share that with anyone that was willing to listen that may need to hear this. I hope this was helpful to y'all in some way and if you want more information be sure to check out my youtube there's all kinds of recipes all kinds of um my, I put up the guidelines that I work within for my diet, which is basically Dr. McDougall's uh, plan in the starch solution. I started out with the starch solution and then moved it towards uh, maximum weight loss whenever I got closer to my weight uh, loss journey. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks so much for watching.